The United States has long been the dominant force in the space race, but it seems that Russia is finally ready to challenge that title. In recent months, Russia has been increasingly aggressive in its actions towards American commercial satellites, specifically those owned by Elon Musk's SpaceX. Since the early days of the Soviet Union, Russia has been a pioneer in developing and deploying space weapons. In the past few years, Russia has employed several different space weapons in Ukraine. These, including jamming devices which are used to disrupt communications and navigation signals, making it difficult for enemy forces to communicate and coordinate their activities. Anti-satellite weapons are designed to destroy or disable enemy satellites, while ground-based lasers can be used to blind or damage the sensors of enemy satellites. In addition to these space-based weapons, Russia has also a number of other weapons in its arsenal, including nuclear-armed missiles, long-range bombers, and cyber weapons. This is not the first time that Russia has threatened to take such action, and it's becoming clear that they are deliberately targeting American commercial interests in space. The United States government has condemned these actions and warned Russia that further aggression will not be tolerated. This standoff has the potential to escalate into a full-blown conflict, with both sides possessing the capability to do serious damage to others' interests in space. What has sparked this space-based conflict? Ukraine is currently in war against Russia, and one of the front lines is the internet. Russia has been trying to take down Ukraine's internet infrastructure during the war, and they've been successful at times, but have never fully disabled it. Why, might you ask? Well, Ukraine has a new weapon in its arsenal, Starlink. Elon Musk's SpaceX operates the Starlink satellite constellation. These satellites are a new generation of satellites that have the capability to provide high-speed internet to any location on the globe and have kept Ukraine online despite Russian attacks against terrestrial communication systems. Starlink is playing the most crucial role in Ukraine providing internet to the military and civilians in its war against Russia. The service reportedly provides speeds up to one gigabyte per second, which is fast enough to stream HD video, download large files, and communicate effectively. Using Starlink to provide internet to its military forces in the war-torn East is a massive advantage for Ukraine, as it gives their forces a critical advantage in terms of communication and coordination. In addition, Ukraine and its allies in the West have depended on several commercial U.S. companies, including Planet and Maxar Technologies, for real-time satellite imagery of the battlefield. However, these satellites are vulnerable to attacks from space-based weapons and Russia is threatening to destroy them. The Washington Post stated that, in 2022, Elon Musk's company SpaceX launched its 49th Falcon 9 rocket into orbit, breaking its previous record. This put 53 Starlink satellites into space, expanding a network that currently numbers over 3,000. This means that Starlink has more satellites in space than the whole world combined. In addition, the Falcon Heavy, a significantly more destructive rocket, will be launched by SpaceX. Unfortunately, these releases happen at a time when the conflict between the United States and Russia is at an all-time peak because of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Moscow vowed to destroy the commercial satellites, which mentioned before, have been a lifeline for Ukraine and its allies through the conflict. Russia destroying American property could lead to heightened tensions between the two countries. Thankfully, Starlink satellites make it much harder for Russia to take down Ukraine's internet, as they would need to take out each satellite. Elon Musk's Starlink satellites could be protected against such attacks by a variety of methods. The first method would be to have the satellites equipped with some form of anti-jamming device. Another method would be to have the satellites in different orbits so that they are all in different places at different times, therefore more challenging to target. Lastly, the satellites could be equipped with some form of self-destruct mechanism so that if they are compromised, they can be destroyed before they can be used to do any damage. This would make it more difficult for an attacker to target all of the satellites at once and would make it more likely that some of the satellites would survive an attack. The Washington Post also reported that according to U.S. officials, Russia has repeatedly attempted to jam the Starlink system despite staying operational. Russia is skilled in upsetting satellites and tested its capacity to hit delicate satellites last year by launching a missile that smashed a debunked satellite. Because of this, the Pentagon depends more and more on networks of teeny satellites. 
there are many more to fill the gap if one or two are eliminated. Policymakers should consider a few things if Russia were to destroy Starlink satellites. For one, they would need to assess the extent of the damage. If many satellites were destroyed, it could severely hamper SpaceX's ability to provide internet service. In addition, policymakers need to consider the diplomatic implications of such an act. White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre said, any attack on U.S. infrastructure will be met with a response, as you've heard from my colleague, in a time and manner of our choosing. And that still stands. We will pursue all means to explore, deter, and hold Russian accountable for any such attacks. Clearly, I'm not going to lay them down here, in public, but we have made ourselves very clear. Policymakers would also need to evaluate whether there are other options for providing internet service in Ukraine if Starlink is no longer an option. If Starlink satellites are down, Ukraine will lose considerable power. Will Starlink continue to cause conflict between the United States and Russia? Comment below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.